Hearth and Hand Fall 2023 Home Decor Collection. Those are gonna go so fast and be so, so popular. I love this. I'm really excited about this collection. Pretty so fall arch cabinet. Oh my God, look at this. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. I am so excited for this week's Target Tuesday. I had something else planned. I threw that out the window because we officially have the Hearth and Hand Fall 2023 Home Decor Collection preview. This is online. We're gonna go through every single new item after the, in my opinion, monstrosity of a summer collection. I was just kind of holding out hope that they would have a really epic fall collection and I am so excited to share this with you. Even more excited to finally be able to find this in stores in the next few weeks. Make sure you are subscribed so you can actually see my in-person shopping videos over the next week or two of the entire new Hearth and Hand collection. Today we're gonna preview everything online. I cannot wait to jump into it, so we're gonna head in right now. All right, so jumping right in, if you have not previewed a collection before, if you're looking for it, all you have to do is go up to the search bar that says, what can we help you find, and just type in the brand. Just put Hearth and Hand, don't put Hearth and Hand Fall Decor, don't put Hearth and Hand New Collection, just put Hearth and Hand, and that's gonna bring you right to this landing page that's gonna show you everything that the brand has going on. If you scroll down, you're gonna see right here, preview the collection, July 23rd, get a sneak peek of what's new from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, including fall designs to help you enjoy the season's best and we're gonna jump right in the first thing here is that there's 192 items I will say I already noticed that a few of them are repeats from previous collections or items that are just like staple collections or basics in their line that they are including in this fall collection first thing right here Wow, Hearth and Hand is doing a collection with Stanley Tumblers. This is a collection I did not see coming or a collaboration I did not see coming. It feels like kind of random to me, but I'm not like super in the know of Joanna Gaines. Maybe she like always promotes Stanley Tumblers. Definitely let me know down below. I could see that. She probably like always uses them or something on her Instagram and that's how this came to be, but I just wasn't expecting it. It's gonna come in some really pretty colors, but it doesn't have any Hearth and Hand identity on it so there's no like hearth and hand logos anywhere on the cup I did already kind of like a deep dive trying to find them you will find the cups like pretty decorated on all of the different pages you're gonna find them kind of slipped in and this is what the colors are going to look like they are really really pretty they are called basic brown navy voyage peat moss serene green sour cream which is like the quintessential hearth and hand color as well as twilight taupe and this is in the quencher which is like the most popular stanley tumbler they're also going to have another style of stanley and i feel like this one makes like a little bit more sense it's more of like a thermos it comes with like the little cup on top it's going to come in cocoa praline navy voyage peat moss again and then the sour cream and navy um, these are all going to be available oh it looks like these are actually going to be available july 30th so that will be after you see this video definitely like add it to your wish list get ready starting online at 3 a.m eastern midnight pacific moving on from that i just was not expecting that collaboration at all and i was like what what those are gonna go so fast and be so so popular moving on we have a couple of pillows just like a basic textured stripe pillow this wooden platter lazy susan is one that is from a previous collection there is a new collection of canisters so as you can see right here they have this dry goods stoneware canister with a wood lid it's going to be a whole line this is what that is going to look like and it says on here like how many pounds it is and ounces in each canister so you could do like sugar flour and brown sugar or something else in these they're going to be 32 ounces 64 and 80 and they're going to range in price from 17.99 to 22.99 i think i'm a little bit like scarred from my ray dunn days i just like don't want anything that says anything on it um first thing that i absolutely love and something that you will see throughout the collection are these ribbed pieces so this is a ribbed glass jug in this really beautiful dark green I love this. You're gonna see me doing like silent screams throughout this entire video. Um, it comes in a nine inch as well as a 12 inch. So, 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 so pretty. I love this. As you can see, I'm really excited about this collection. I was so disappointed in their summer collection and I feel like the fall collection is like kind of making up for that. But I wanna know all of your opinions down below. 
You can see a few more of the pieces in this picture right here, a new coffee table that we're gonna look at, some new pillows, maybe an accent cabinet in the back over there. There are a lot of great things to still be discovered. Um, Hearth and Hand is also known for their like Montessori style toys. So you're gonna see a lot of those. Those normally go pretty fast. People will snatch them up and save them for Christmas. She will come out with more in like a Christmas collection, but there are a lot in this collection as well. So there's a toy building block set. That's 43 pieces for 29. $9.99. This is actually something that I'm going to be looking to pick up for Bryn. She's like really getting so much bigger now and like wanting to work on like motor skills and like putting things into like different holes and fitting things together and I just think that this would be a really fun option for her and I really like the color so I might pick that up for 30. Scrolling down we do see the first piece of furniture in this grooved wood collection. This is the two door storage cabinet with glass doors in the color natural. This comes in at $349.99. I think this is so so pretty. I love the ribbed style of the glass on the doors. I think that is such an expensive feature. So it's really great to get that at the target price. I have a lot of the hearth and hand furniture around my house actually, even though it's like not my preferred collection from Target. I have my breakfast nook table. Also, all of the nightstands in my house were hearth and hand and they were amazing quality. So I don't doubt that these pieces will be great as well, but I don't think that we will find them in the stores. I feel like we only typically find like the accent chests, like little nightstands or accent tables. We don't find these bigger pieces. I will definitely be pleasantly surprised, but I have not normally seen them at my stores but you know I will definitely keep you posted another fall item I see right here that I love is this harvest plaid throw I really like the colors you're seeing like a slate blue like a burgundy ish type reddish purple a cream also kind of like a tealy sage there's a lot going on, but they work together really, really well in this throw for 20. Continuing down over here, this wooden decorative tray that is, I think, an item that is coming back. It does say that it's new at Target. It's like a longer tray, and then it does have this brass detailing. This may be a new shape on an older style. I think it's really pretty. They here have it on a tufted ottoman that they're using as a coffee table, which I always talk about this on my channel. You can use ottomans as coffee tables. You you just needs like a stabilizer on top so some sort of tray to be able to put like a candle or a faux plant or if you're using it more functionally at the moment um, you could put glassware on it just like they have here and this tray is absolutely perfect for that I think this is really pretty the details and all of the colors the hearth and hand wood has more recently tended to be a lot more on the red side and it appears to be that in this photo as well but you know that I will definitely let you know once I see it in person that obviously changes everything I do see our first floral item, faux golden ash leaf arrangement. It's gonna come in two different sizes. A little bit on the pricey side, hearth and hand plants are always so expensive. The 20 inch is 30 and the 25 inch is $40. That is not cheap. I will say, I love the way that it looks. I love the amber glass vase and I really love the like mustardy colored leaves. I think this is really, really pretty. And definitely one that I'll have to see in person before I make the decision if I want to get it or not. But so far, this does kind of look like the vibe I'm going for for the fall. And I might need to pick it up, but I have to see it in person first. Going back, the Boucle upholstered wood ottoman comes in two different colors. That's really pretty. Looks like we're also going to get a chair to match. We've been seeing this color a lot from Studio McGee, but it's been all in velvet material. So it's nice to see something different. The boucle has been so, so popular. We're going to be looking for that chair that goes with that as well. This golden ash leaf wreath matches the arrangement. We actually did see this in the photo of on the last listing. This is a smaller wreath, it looks like, unless the pictures are deceiving it does come in two sizes the smaller one in 9.99 perfect for accent windows like this also the back of your bar stools back of your dining chairs you can put them on like the front of your cabinets in your kitchen just depending on how all out you want to go with fall that's just a couple different ideas also maybe like a vent range above your oven if you have that um, for the smaller size and then the bigger size is $34.99 and we did see it in this photo right here so so pretty so fall this is nice a mar 
marble and wood salt cellar. I like this. We did just see one from Threshold, but this one's nice because it's actually two different styles of marble. The pepper is meant to go on the bottom in like the more peppery looking marble, whereas the salt is meant to go in the top. And these don't like slide out of each other. They actually just stack. So this is super nice. They've done salt and pepper cellars before. There's also a new mortar and pestle in this collection that we'll look at as well. And that is $14.99. I do also like this pillow right here. This diamond jacquard lumbar pillow. It's also going to come in a brown. This is a very like subtle brown. I feel like in the photo, as you can see right here, makes it look like way more of like a chocolate brown. And when I clicked on it, I was not underwhelmed, but I just wasn't expecting it to be super light like that. But in person, it could be a little bit different. I think this is really, really pretty. I also really do like the green one as well. Um, I am starting to think about our primary bedroom makeover and some new bedding items, and I do think that this lumbar pillow could be great as like the finishing pillow on our bed with some of the bedding items I'm looking at. Scrolling down, these three pieces right here, these are pieces that are staples in her normal line. You always see them in stores. You can pretty much always find them available. It does maybe look like it's coming in a new color. So pickled black, that looks like a new color, and all three of these items are going to come in that. This is really beautiful. It's like a cool-toned walnut, like a dark, cool-toned wood. That's really, really pretty. I actually very much prefer that over her normal reddish-toned brown. We have another new arrangement right here. This is the Faux Rusted Beach Leaf Arrangement. This is $19.99. The leaves on this look very, very pretty. Lots of different like tones going on in there. Of course, we need to see it in person, but this one looks really pretty. I like how like light and airy it is. I always tend to gravitate towards arrangements that have presents but are not busy. So I think that this one is really pretty. And this is more for people who are not really into like the yellows. This is more like reds and oranges. And you can see it here in a more decorative setting. They have it in front of a window and I feel like you can see a lot of light piercing through the leaves which makes them appear lighter in color. So we have a lot to check out with this one in person and that is $19.99. Scrolling down, temperature and humidity comfort meter, a tiered and wood metal round serving stand. This is nice. I have noticed a lot of really nice serveware in this collection, which definitely makes sense because fall, you're thinking hosting, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, and serveware, I feel like is a big thing that you're buying around that time. I've noticed this, and there's another piece of serveware that I'm definitely going to be picking up. This one's really pretty. It has that same brass detailing as the tray we saw on the ottoman, and this is what it looks like all decorated. They have it with like cheeses on top and fruits on the bottom. You could do desserts like cupcakes and cookies on this, tons that you could do, maybe like little croissants if you're doing like some breakfast spreads. And another thing right here that caught my eye is this because it almost has like a metal appearance to it or sorry, it almost has a leather appearance to it. I thought that it was like wrapped in leather and it does have some pretty brass detailing. I think the color is beautiful. This is $60 though, so definitely keep that in mind. Scrolling down. These caught my eye. You guys know I love a good storage box and I have been particularly obsessed with green this year. So I am really into this one. This is in an olive green. These are metal and they have a little latch. Come in two different sizes. The small is $12.99. The medium is $16.99. Here's what it looks like on a decorated entry table. I think these boxes are gorgeous. Also really like these prints. So we'll be on the hunt for those. There are some new rugs in this collection. Pattern border striped area rug in khaki. That is nice. I have been looking for a runner for our kitchen for a while. I'm interested in that. Also, this chunky texture area rug. This looks super nice. Let's get a closer look at what that is like. That's beautiful. This is 7 by 10 for $4.50, so definitely not cheap. But if you have been on the hunt for a neutral textured rug, that could be a good option for you. Looks like it's going to come in several different sizes, ranging from 200 to 450 Right here, this pebble textured woven table runner. Definitely something I'm going to be keeping my eyes out on because I do have it in an oversized length. Really love this color. This is the 20 by 90 Has some nice 
texture it also has the nice little tassels at the end this looks really thick this looks like great quality two different color options here if you like those woven runners they do have it here in a placemat option as well okay this is one i have to show you i am so excited for this serveware tray this looks so beautiful it's a nested round serving tray so what i like about it is that it's going to store a little bit easier they fit right inside of each other kind of swivels in and out how beautiful is this i love the wood on the top with the brass legs i think this is absolutely stunning but this is one that i absolutely love i think this is so so pretty i think it looks beautiful with all of the other fall items that they have we're seeing a few arrangements here that i haven't seen yet so we're gonna go back oh yeah here it is okay so this is the pot holder set I'm definitely going to be picking this up. This is $8.99 and something you can definitely expect to see in my fall decor haul. If you weren't into the brown or white table runners or just want something a little bit more patterned, they do have it in sage green in this like sage green plaid. They are going to have that in the two sizes, $20 for the shorter and $25 for the 90 inch. This is really pretty, this ribbed glass cylindrical accent lamp. Um, we actually, actually, is there like a lamp inside? That is pretty. That's different. I really, really like that. That is $40. I feel like with this, typically you see it as like it's a hurricane, so you're supposed to put like a faux candle inside. So that's actually pretty cool that that style comes in a lamp. I actually really like that. That is something I'm hoping to find in stores. What's tough is I'm not 100% sure yet what items are going to be in stores versus online, but I will try to keep you posted. Most of the time, all these stems end up coming in the stores. I have this one from last year. This is the faux rusted beech leaf stem. It is beautiful. This faux rusted eucalyptus looks really pretty. And it looks like we're getting a new olive tree. This is a 33 inch olive tree. It's actually on this table, so it's pretty small. There may end up being a larger size as well. Typically, whatever they do in the small, they have in the larger. That is $49.99. Oh, we're getting a new blanket ladder. Here is a new one, a wood and steel blanket ladder. They have one that's really, really similar at Hobby Lobby for way cheaper. This is $119. A lot of these items are really overpriced. Um, I feel like I've seen that a lot with the Hearth and Hand collection, and I notice it more with Hearth and Hand versus Studio McGee. Like, I feel like with the Studio McGee collection, like, the only thing or one of the only things this collection that I thought was wildly overpriced was like that tiny green marble bowl. But I feel like with Hearth and Hand, the prices are always more. I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you have the same opinion or your thoughts on it down below. We're getting into some of the vases. This is so cute. Faceted ceramic bud vase. This is $7.99. The bud vases are another item that are always really, really overpriced. And you can find bud vases like everywhere. So I never recommend getting like the clear bud vases because you can find those at literally any other store like Pop Shelf, the dollar store, in the Target dollar spot, the Goodwill, any thrift store for way cheaper. But these ones are cute. Like the ones that are more of like a colored ceramic. This is $7.99. I'm excited to see that in person. There's also a new lamp. I don't love the texture of the lampshade just personally i think if the bottom was solid it would be okay but i think mixing like the ribbed with like the ruffled lampshade i don't really like the way that that looks together <gasps> This is really, really pretty. I really like this one, the faux rusted eucalyptus arrangement. I like the pot that this comes in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This looks really, really beautiful. Also, the leaves look super nice. It can be pretty hit or miss. So all stuff that we need to like actually, you know, confirm in person. But to me, this one looks really, really pretty. And that is... 30. Another arrangement that was right next to this is the faux bleach sedum and thistle arrangement. This is pretty. You can also see it mixed in. Oh my god, look how small it is. <laughs> this is the 7.5. You really can see how small it is compared to some of the other vases right here. Holy moly, that is like itty itty bitty. That's going to be $7.99. And it's also going to come in a larger version and you can see it in this photo. I think it's down here with this. I can't really tell. They both look really, really small. I don't see this anywhere else in the picture except for right there, but that looks like the teeny tiny one. So we'll have to confirm the sizes in person, but those are $7.99 and $11.99. 
Here's another new ceramic vase, the multifaceted ceramic bud vase. This is again a bud vase, but this is an oversized bud vase. So this is one that I definitely will consider grabbing. This one is $9.99. You can see it here right next to the green one. Those pair really well together. So if I get one, I'll probably also have to get the other. Here are those prints we were looking at that I said I liked in the other picture. The Great Oak Tree Sketch, that's $22.99. Great Oak Tree Sketch again in the smaller size. Those are sisters and not twins. They're a little bit different. And then there are just a few more wreaths. The Faux Rusted Beech Leaf Wreath, I feel like is one we've seen a few times. Also love this Faux Golden Ash Stem. That's really pretty. And another bud vase. This again is more of like a medium sized bud vase as you can see it right here next to that arrangement. Um, it's kind of like really similar to one that they did in the spring collection they introduced all these faceted vases um, but this looks like it's a more warm brown whereas the one in the spring collection was a cool toned brown on this page we're getting into a lot of the bigger furniture pieces that i am so excited to show you this is the groove wood square coffee table with drawer I love these oversized square coffee tables. I feel like if you have an L-shaped couch, square coffee tables can be perfect. Also round, just not rectangular. But these square coffee tables can be kind of hard to find. And I love also that this has some storage. So that drawer is going to pull all the way out and give you a ton of storage space on the inside. This one's really pretty. I also love the grooved front with the brass hardware. Really, really love this piece. I feel like this is only $3.29 as well, which is a good price for this style. This style can tend to be a lot more expensive on those luxury furniture websites like Burke Decor, even McGee & Co. And even on like Wayfair, Jocelyn May, and Birch Lane, a style like that is going to be more expensive. Speaking of styles that would be more expensive. This is one I am so, 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 so excited about. I actually screamed out loud when I saw it, but I don't want to scream at you guys on camera. This is the Grooved Wood Four Door Arch Cabinet. Oh my God, look at this. It is so pretty. This is $650. I feel like that is a great price for this piece of furniture. Arched cabinets are very, very expensive. It's a luxury look. And also with that grooved wood element in the back, it kind of gives the glass almost like a fluted look from far away, but it's just that paneling in the back. That is stunning. I am obsessed with this piece. It is different top and bottom, so they're separated. So the top is the arch part. You're going to get three shelves there and then two more down on the bottom. I am obsessed with this piece of furniture. I wish that we had somewhere to put it, but it's definitely one I'll be keeping my eye out for, maybe for like a future home or something. It is so beautiful. It also has this really pretty hardware. It's like a latching mechanism in, again, like that almost like oil rubbed brass. I just can't say enough good things about this piece. I really, really love it. I think for $650, that is a steal. Here are a few new dining chairs. This slipcover armless dining chair. This is going to come in cream as well as in gray. It looks like a stark white to me. The armed version is $200 and the armless is $179 for each. So definitely not cheap, but I feel like slipcover chairs have definitely gained a lot more popularity in the last year or so here's another piece from that grooved wood collection this is just so pretty i love the way the dowels look on the back of this piece i think this is just stunning they have it used as a buffet in a dining room it has that same hardware like that latch mechanism and i think the color is really pretty as well and this is 549 again i feel like that is a pretty good price for this style and then they do also have it in an accent table this is 169 basically just like a nightstand right next to that are a few accent chairs there is that boucle chair that we saw with the ottoman i like this i like the leather straps that it has on the top for like the head pillow that is pretty interesting i don't think that this is going to be everyone's style at all it's definitely more of like a mid-century contemporary style i do like the dowels on the back i think that's a nice accent and i like the curve of the arm as well as the leather strap. So there are things that I like about it. It's just not 100% my style. This is really beautiful. This faux leather upholstered accent armchair. This is stunning. It looks plushy. It also looks really comfortable. And I like the deep leather or faux leather color. This is 349. Another accent chair. They have the boucle upholstered accent armchair. Oh my gosh. They're actually coming out with this as like a furniture piece. I didn't think that this was gonna actually be part of the collection. 
I love this. This is the Boucle Upholstered Square Cocktail Ottoman. Oh, we just had a baby, so I feel like having a piece like this is not functional if you have kids. But if you are looking for like an elevated coffee table type item, this is perfect. I just love the way that it looks in this picture, but I didn't point it out because I didn't actually think it was going to be something available in this collection. So I am really excited to see this piece. They also have it in a green color. That's really pretty. That's definitely more kid friendly. The darker green color would definitely hide more. And this is only $329. Again, I feel like that is a justified price. I think that is a really good price for this piece. And I'm really excited to see this. Similar to what I said about the arched accent cabinet, that is a really expensive style for a really affordable price. A few more accent chairs and some blankets and pillows. I'm really excited to see those in person. A few more pillows, lumbar pillows, tons of new bedding. That bedding wall is going to be totally transformed and I'm really excited to see that. And that is everything in the new Hearth and Hand collection. I know that this video was long and I talked a lot about so many of the different items. I'm gonna be highlighting them even more in person over the next week or two as I find everything in the stores. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you can see all of my in-store shopping videos about this collection as well. Well, alrighty, everyone, there you have it. That is the Hearth and Hand 2023 Fall Collection Home Decor Preview. So many new awesome fall decor items. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be very pleasantly surprised with this collection, but be sure to leave all of your thoughts down below, especially compared to the summer collection. I know that I have ragged on it a lot, but for me, it's with good reason. It was just really disappointing. So I guess maybe they were just holding out for the fall collection. It looks really great. I'm really excited to find it in the stores and actually be able to like see, touch, and feel and describe the items to you as if you were standing next to me right there in the store shopping right alongside. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for shopping with me today and every day. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.